Days after that medical helicopter went down in Drexel Hill and everyone miraculously survived, the pilot has been released from the hospital. And tonight we're hearing directly from him for the first time. Our Marcus Espinoza was there. I'm just feeling fortunate. You know, I, had, I had God as my co-pilot that day and we, we took care of the took care of the crew and we landed in his front yard, so that was kind of nice. Just five days after helicopter pilot Dan Moore crash landed on the front steps of Drexel Hill United Methodist Church, he's being released to return home to Virginia and continue his recovery. Moore is widely credited with saving the lives of all souls on board, including a two-month-old baby. I really don't remember much of anything, to be honest. I, I remember I remember waking up and looking up and seeing a whole company of firefighters looking down at me. And that's uh, a real good feeling. Moore's medevac helicopter went down on Tuesday while four people were inside, including Moore himself. Amazingly, no one was killed. Moore suffered the most serious injuries on board, but credits the doctors here at Penn Presbyterian Hospital for their great care. The, uh, the staff here at Presby has been fantastic. They've taken really good care of me. My, my surgeon, uh, Brian Smith, did an outstanding job. He, he, went, he went above and beyond. While Moore says he doesn't remember much, he does have one moment forever sealed into his mind. I remember my uh, flight medic, Kevin Chafee, taking a two-month-old baby, handing it off to safety and grabbing the fire extinguisher and putting the fire out and then taking that baby on, <laughs> on an ambulance to finish the mission. More deflecting the hero title and credit and instead shining it onto others. I don't save them, the guys in the back save them, but it feels good to, to facilitate that. His fiance Gail Miller, a first responder herself, says this entire incident is nothing short of a miracle. There's a very low chance of actually surviving a helicopter crash. To have four people survive the same helicopter crash is virtually unheard of. Um, when I talked to my children, I told them you know, there were two pilots in that aircraft that day, Dan and God. At Penn Presbyterian Hospital, Marcus Espinoza, Fox 29 News.